super lucky because it's already Friday for you. Uh, the girls were not doing their schoolwork today. They were paying attention to outside the window and they saw. Oh, uh, just looked outside what did you see? to see how dark it was. And what did you see? A horseshoe. A horseshoe puddle in the shape of a puddle. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Anyway, good morning to you guys, and we are getting our work done as fast as we can. Why are we getting our work done? Because we're going to the barn. It's true, we are going to the barn. I don't want to interrupt them. They are working hard. But yeah, it's raining out, it's cold out, but yeah, we're still going to the barn because when you have a horse, you have to go to the barn. So anyway, I suck not being able to tell you guys everything that's going on in yesterday's video. There just was no time with all the looking at the horses and it just used up all of our vlogging minutes. But I thought it was really important that you guys get to see the horses, get to see them riding the horses, get to see us riding the horses so you guys could get a feel. And in the end, we're gonna make our own decision. We're gonna make the best decision for us based on us and our trainer. But I love to hear what you guys have to say. You'll be shocked. You guys are gonna be so shocked what we decided. Do you think they're gonna be shocked? Yeah, because we have so many options. Um, this is all the Halloween candy I have. Yeah, bought. Sophia, ate all her Halloween candy, but I'm okay with that because our dentist says eat I have it a all, whole get it done. Full still. Yeah, and they, our dentist says the longer you eat it, the worse it is for your teeth. Get it done and over with, and then your teeth are better. In typical Sophia fashion, this is all she has left. All the stuff she likes the least. I'm really dying for that one. I think you should share some of your candy with Fiona. Okay. Yeah. And Hope. Yeah, her horse. I'm giving to Fiona. I don't know. Coming up in today's video, we are hopefully gonna go to the barn, reveal our new horse. We're gonna reveal our new horse in this video, you guys. So stay tuned for that. But just, but don't skip ahead. Don't let me say new horse. Shh, don't say he's coming. This is my candy. That's a lot of candy. Oh my goodness. This is my candy. Yeah. Oh, there's a hole in my bag. Yeah. A hole in her bag needs more candy for mama. I just follow behind her. Anyway, so we're gonna do a big reveal. We're gonna, but don't skip ahead because we're gonna explain all the options and everything that's available to us and why everything is happening the way it is so that you guys know everything that we know. So yeah, don't skip ahead, but yeah, we are gonna be at the barn before you know it. Last night at the barn, my lesson ran, the last was the last lesson. We got to help with everything at the barn. We got to shut the barn down for the night. We got to do chores. We got to muck stalls. We got to feed the horses. We got to uh, bring the horses in. We got to do so much amazing stuff. Literally, it was so cool. The atmosphere at our barn is amazing. It was a bunch of us, me and the girls, and Fiona and another girl, and we all worked together to get everybody fed and in their beds and happy for the night, and it was amazing. So stay tuned for our barn routine video that will be coming up really soon. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I wanted to tell you guys what happened last night. So we were gone at three quarters, well, we were gone a half of the day yesterday. And when we got home, the dogs were super excited to see us because they're like, oh, finally you're home. Anyway, <laughs> something happened that has never ever happened before in the history of Toby. So basically he's really addicted and attached to cookie dough. He's really addicted and attached to cookie dough and he doesn't need me. He likes me and he loves me and he spends time with me and he's good to me now, but he doesn't need me. But yesterday, but yesterday I walked in the door and he was standing here. Come here, Tobe, stand here. Show them where you were standing. Come here. Back up. Anyway, he was standing on this couch and he came running towards me and he did that thing where he was doing circles and whipping his bum back and forth and he was excited and he was excited to see me. Like that's the first time it's ever happened. He was I'm dancing. To watch behind you. <laughs> he was dancing and prancing. He was like, oh, you're home, you're home. And then I was cuddling him and like rubbing his little face. And when I did that, he Bent his, he bent his entire body into me and was like, oh, thank you for being home. It was basically him okay. hugging me and kissing me and saying, thanks, you're home. I'm so glad you're home. And that has never happened before. Mommy, that has well. never happened before. Huh, sweet boy. I was just so happy that this sweet boy was so happy to see me yesterday. Weren't you? Weren't you? And I was cuddling him, and I was going like this, and he was so happy. He never shows us his belly. This is the closest he ever lets me pet his, rub his belly. And the other two are like, no, pay attention to me. 
pay attention to me, especially this one. She's a she's an attention hog, this girl. It's because she didn't get any attention when she was a baby. Did you? None. You didn't get any attention. This girl got all the attention when she's a baby. And this boy got no attention either. He got no attention either, huh? You're such a cute boy. I love how his eyes are so dark around them. And hers are so light. See? And his eyes look like they're mo more bulgy because of the dark. Or maybe it's because she has a brown nose. Do you have a brown nose? Nope, she has a black nose. You have a brown nose. And you have a black nose. You guys might not know, but Cookie Dough lived her very first year in a rabbit hutch outside with another chihuahua in a rabbit hutch and she's scared of thunder and lightning now because of it and all she had for a year of life was a male dog to keep her and love her and be her companion that's all she ever had and she's come so far <clears throat> and now tell them macy's story <laughs> macy had this girl to love and take care of her her whole entire life. Ever since she was 12 weeks, we got her. And she was not even a pound. She was a half a pound. And we didn't rescue her, though. We didn't rescue her. Tell them the whole story. All right, so I'm going to tell you quick because this vlog is going to be packed with horse stuff. But the story about Macy is that we brought Macy home. We got her from a breeder. We brought her home. And Gabby was one and a half years old. And Gabby's like, oh, I love that dog. And I was like, this dog is only a half a pound. You're too little. Don't touch the doggy. Just let mama help you with her. And I said to Macy, you be careful because she's just a baby and we don't want her to hurt you. And literally, the minute I turned my back, Macy was in Gabby's arms and I would take Macy away and I'd be like, don't touch her, she's too little. And then the minute I turned my back, Gabby would have her. And they would chase each other and play. Like they were like siblings. They were like sister and sister. Like they were so close. And, and, back ride, and, and sometimes back I would feel like Ma Gabby was being too rough with Macy and I would take Macy away and I'd be like, come here, my little love. Let me keep you safe. And I would literally take her away, put her down, and zoom, she would fly back to Gabby, jump into Gabby's arms, and off they would go again. It was crazy. Macy had her very first bath by Gabby. One day I walked into the bathroom when Gabby was two years old and I walked in there because I heard the toilet flushing and there was Gabby holding Macy by both arms, swirling her around in the toilet and she flushed it so that she could rinse, rinse Macy in the toilet. But yeah, they have a huge long history together, don't you? Yes, Wait, I do. Tell she used to bite my hands. She used to bite her hands. They played That's a game. How we played. They played a game. I had to run and hide in her bed. And Macy would chase her and bite her hands in a gentle way. And Gabby would lay on her belly and put her hands underneath her. And Macy would just run around her, trying to get to her hands barking. Well, it was fun. Because she has to do her time. Okay, back to work. Chop, chop. Back to work. Such a pretty girl. because I don't know what's happening. I'll do anything you say. All right, you guys. So now you know there are two horses at our <coughs> barn, right? So which horse did we choose? Let's 
true. We chose her. We chose her. Yes, she's <coughs> Isn't she cute? She likes to be rubbed. Just this ear. Oh, she likes that ear being rubbed? Oh, look it. Sophie's already finding all her quirks. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. And Austin is here for a trial. Austin. Because. Not Austin. Austin. We don't know what's going to happen, but he might get to stay too. I see her. Ew, I see like under here, and it looks so weird. He finally stopped weaving. Yeah, she's so pretty. Goodness. Our girl looks like a boy. She's very I wonder why he's rolling. Ask Steve. Probably get yeah, an itch off of him or something. <coughs> there he goes. Oh, now oh. she's going to do it. <coughs> Is it because they want to get the scent on them? She has a dribble. What are we doing? What are we doing, Sophia? Feeding the horses. You're feeding, I'm feeding Austin. Like You're feeding your horse. She looks like Ben. All right, here we go. Feed your horse for the first time. Now they're all like, feed me, feed me. They're like, it's not supper time yet. What's happening here? Okay. There they go. Oh, there we go. Rena's eating mine, Austin's eating yours. There we go, you guys. You just fed your horse. Oh, now he's wants hers too. It's okay. They'll probably eat the shell. Yeah, they probably are. They've been together for a while. So they're not herd bound, but they've been together. They're friends in the field. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering like, what the heck is happening? So basically what happened is that we had the opportunity to lease either horse or buy him. And we were kind of nervous about him because we don't know he's an off the track thoroughbred. And there's just some other things that we weren't sure about. He got his name to go Dodi. So we decided that we felt comfortable leasing. Leasing is definitely for sure a better scenario for us just because we have lots of years. The kids are just still growing. We have lots of years to buy a horse. We're not ready to buy a horse yet. Yeah, like if we can be more ready to buy a horse, then that's awesome for us. So we ended up that we get to lease her for 10 months and then she'll go back for the summer for their camp that they do. And I think 10 months is a really good time to figure out and to learn and I think she'd be a really good horse for us to learn on. But so you're wondering, you're probably wondering why Austin is here. Fiona is looking for a horse for other people and maybe they will be a good fit for him or maybe he'll be a better fit for us. Who knows, we're just gonna try and see and Fiona's going to try him out and lease him or she's gonna try him for two weeks and then see how he is. So basically, um, we're gonna go home soon and Fiona's gonna watch them and see how they do and she's gonna take care of them and um, we're gonna pay her all of our money. <laughs> Just joking. And then we'll be back tomorrow. Oh look, they're coming. They're like, all right, well we've already eaten if you guys are in there. So, uh oh. He's gonna have his very first try. Yep. Wow, so nice. They don't even need to be caught. Sabrina's like, take me, take me. No, I want 
take her up. Yeah, well, she's not riding right now. Don't touch the wire. <clears throat> Aww. They're both geldings. Mom, can you undo the door? Like, push it in? Sabrina, get. I'll hold my hand here. Uh oh, Sabrina. Stay, stay, stay. Nice girl, you're easy. You want to go, huh? She's like, I'll go. She already rolled in the mud. Blue, you're not coming. Oh, he doesn't want to leave her. Oh, that's sad. He's crying for her, right? Okay, where's Sophie? Can I hold him for a second? Honey, can you go grab Jasmine? Jasmine's like, they're all like something crazy's going on here. Good job. <laughs> we are so dirty. You look sweet. All right, so what are you guys doing? This is our saddle. I'm taking my hoof pick brush. I'm just like brushing the dirt off there because like, All right, so this yeah, is, just because I care about it's pretty little. Sabrina's saddle. Yeah, we'll have to read up on how to make it all beautiful. Okay, so luckily we have this. Huh. And Does it's it adjustable right here. Oh yeah, whoops. So, so you can tighten it. That's cool. It, like, this is our locker. Isn't that amazing? Like, I cannot believe we have a locker. I mean, it's been a long day at the barn, you guys. Holy moly, my hair. But this is our thing, our empty locker. But one day soon, like after Christmas for sure, this is gonna be all beautiful. This is ours. This is mine. <laughs> yeah, we have one thing. You won this at a show, huh? Yeah, I won it first place. So look at that, came in there. handy. It might so we clearly, don't know if this fits. Yeah, we don't know if that'll fit her. She's big, huh? It's probably not gonna fit Sabrina. But we'll see. So far, this is our locker. We're doing all the it important blue, things. Kind of. We're doing all the important things. We are setting up our locker and it's pitifully empty. And we're putting the bridle in it after. I have to check and see if it's bridle wrap. Did you bridle wrap it? So that's I her tried. bridle. We need to get her a lead rope. Did she do a good job? Uh, okay. Only a few corrections. We are home from the barn. It's four o'clock. We spent the whole day there. Every part of my body aches. Even worse than when I'm done riding. We're starving. I took a bunch of snacks and I took two sandwiches, one for each of the girls. And Sophie ate them all. Anyway, yeah, so much work. So it still hasn't sunk in. Has it sunk into you that we have a horse? Even though it's a lease horse, it's still our horse for the next 10 months. Now we're gonna have to walk all the way down to the pasture. Yeah, like so now. So it's gonna be where Ziggy is. Yeah, he's gonna, she's gonna be in with Ziggy, and the boy Austin, the, the gelding Austin, is gonna be in with all the school um, horses. But we have our own locker, and we have our own stall, and we have, yeah, like, we have nothing. Nothing for our horse. All of you guys who said you should buy stuff now just in case. And I was thinking, well, we're not gonna know what to buy until we know what horse we have. Um, you are all right. Well, so her pat, so Bee's pasture is in with Ziggy. That's right. And her stall, and her stall is right beside Ziggy's where um, Smokey goes. Yeah, so. Um, Make me one. Yeah. Make me two. Yeah. No, three. I'm <laughs> making grilled cheese. Literally, Make me one more. we fell in the house and we're like, oh. And I brought drinks and snacks, but I didn't eat anything. I didn't have time. I Did only you? have one. You had a snack? Yeah, like it was crazy, I guys. You guys said it's a lot of work. Holy cow. So basically, uh, last night we did all. You don't all have to do the whole barn's entire chores when you have a horse. Yeah, we it's only. It's a lot have to, of work 
but like yeah like we that never way. want a barn with that many horses mm -hmm. because that's what we Which did one? today we cleaned all the water buckets and filled them all up mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. what else did you do we unloaded the truck uh we got to play in the arena um muck out stalls fill up their water buckets and uh put, put all the hay out in. and i learned to hack <clears throat> so you put the bag open and then you like <clears throat> just lay it on the ground that and you go like this over the bag so the bag's right there and you go that's what fee taught me yeah, that's what Fee taught her, but the thing is, is I tried to tell her that last night when we were cleaning stalls last night, but yeah, mom doesn't know anything. She only listens to her coach. Give me that. Yeah, I know. It's like, we're all so hungry. I got the first. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.